Hey everybody, welcome to another spectacular edition of Scientific Minds Unite. We are in the science lab of Alan J. Uh, it is one of my favorite places to be, and I have one of my good friends here, Mr. Nissen. He hey is our sixth grade science teacher here at Alan J. I am the fifth grade science teacher, and we are excited to bring you another edition and ready to rock your socks off. Mr. Nissen, uh, now that we have our goggles on, you called me into the science lab, which, by the way, I absolutely adore. What hey. the heck are we doing here? What are you doing? Oh, I'm measuring out some stuff. I'm measuring out some glycerin, and I'm measuring out some soap, and then I'm going to get some water, I'm going to mix it together, and I'm going to, I'm going to make the biggest bubble that I've, I've ever made in my entire life. And the reason I'm doing it, I love bubbles, yeah. but it really takes me back to a time. What great memories. I, yeah, uh, I just, I mean, you saw it. Yeah, you? that was nice. Was, I like that. Yeah. So, I mean, obvious question to me is why don't you just dump the stuff in there? Why do you have to measure it out? Well, I mean, it, we are scientists and we mm -hmm. want to be precise, but we also want to be able to re recreate it. So, okay. I mean, if we tell people about this, we can't just say, yeah, a pinch of this, a uh, squizzle of that. Mm -hmm. We need to give them some. All right, I make good sense. I make right? good sense. All right, so, go ahead. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do about, ooh, I don't know, six tablespoons of that. So, I already got the glycerin in there. I gotta then, be honest with you, Mr. Nissen, I don't look like you're being very careful with that. Oh, well, I mean, it's precise. Okay. Yeah, I, right. I, I, I've done this a thousand times. Oh, so okay, I know, well that makes sense. Yeah, All right. absolutely. So, okay. I already got that in there, so I'm gonna get a cup of water. So I'm gonna pick that up. Wow. Seems like you could have used a smaller container than that, Mr. Nissen. Well, you know, I had this sitting around in the kitchen. I'm with you. Okay. Go. All right. All right. So, got about a, a cup or three, and uh, gonna go ahead and mix this up. Wait a minute. I don't understand. You said you're gonna make the biggest bubble like you've ever seen. Oh well. I, I just don't see how that's gonna happen from that. Okay. Well, I mean, I did mix up some earlier in this larger bucket. Oh right. I mean, we might be able to do something with this. Okay. All yeah. right. So, All right. Very good. All right. So, uh, so what do we do? All right, so there's a couple things that we can do. There's uh, there's this rag that we have in here, uh -huh. and you can kind of soak it in this water that's mm -hmm. real soapy, and yeah. you can kind of drag it across the top of the bucket, mm -hmm. and it makes a really big bubble. Now, well, I'm missing something. I gotta be honest with you, that's uh, less than impressive. Yeah, it isn't very, very big. It really is not what, indicative. What can we do to like just make this thing really come alive? Well, we need something bubbling or creating a gas or... Say no something. more. Say no more. Something? I just happen to have... What do you have? Some dry oh, ice right here. Oh, I like that. Now, do you know what dry ice is, Mr. Nissen? Yeah, it's um, solid CO2, right? Carbon dioxide? Absolutely. Yeah. Did, did you happen to know the temperature of... Frozen carbon Ooh, dioxide, solid. Like a negative 108 or something like that? That's pretty darn close right there. Yeah. I think we're pretty darn close. Yeah, absolutely. This is absolutely freezing. You'll notice that I'm using tongs right here because if I were to hold this for any length of time, it would actually start to break down and kill my skin cells and it'd actually feel like a burn. So I'm using my tongs here to help me uh, make sure I'm safe. That makes sense. So, I wonder if we put it in the water, if it'll create enough bubbles for us to you, create the biggest bubble we've ever had. Let's try it. Drop All it right. in there. Let's see what happens. Yeah. All right. Drop That's it in there. The only way we can find out, right? That's right. Let's just put it in. It's in there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. It's oh, actually, it's, it's, it's stuck, stuck to the. Wow. Woo. Woo. That, that's why you wear safety goggles, right? So, wow. Oh my gosh. Wh All right. Okay. Get the, so what? yeah, go ahead and grab that. Okay. Real quick and let's see if we can get a really big bubble here. I, I don't know if we're gonna. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Get that or not. Hmm. It looks like we have just uh, a I lot got, of I, little I bubbles. I got it. I got it. Ooh, that's warm. Why is that so warm? That's a wow. good question. Well, I put warm water in there. Okay. Okay. So that. still, at this point, we have. Just a bunch of little bubbles. So I wonder what we need to do to get a really big bubble. 
Wow. Well, I'm going to try again to see if I can get the bubble to adhere to the top here. There we go. So if you just bear with me for a second. All right. I'm going to see if I can get that going here. I don't know if I can do it or not. I just got smaller. same situation I was before. at that time. Uh, it's hard to tell. I can't tell. If you like bubbles, you're gonna like that. I don't think that's the biggest bubble we've ever seen. No, I don't think so. But it's kind of neat so. how it's like in the center. Yeah. Should we try again? I love the sound. It makes me think I'm on some sort of uh, science mystery theater. 3,000 or something. Am I all the way across or not? Yes, yep. that worked. Nice job. Oh yeah, you can see it. I think we lost it over on yeah, the side. Yeah, we did lose it a little bit there. You know what I think we need? More glycerin. That'll strengthen the bubble. Okay. All right, let's try it let's again. Let's try it. What can do? No. No? No. No. <laughs> Once you get all those little bubbles, you can't get it. Might have gotten it. Mr. Nissen? I think I might have gotten it. I think you nailed it this time. I think oh, yeah. your big bubble is coming. This is it. This is I your dream right it. here. It is. It is. This is yeah. be the biggest bubble I've ever seen in my life. Yes. This is fantastic. And look how it's been in the light. Oh yeah. The prism there. effect right there. Yeah. yeah. That's great. It's fantastic. Oh. I absolutely love this right here. <laughs> this is neat. Glycerin, soap, water, and a little dry ice. We got a great afternoon right here. This is fantastic. I oh, think it's looks gonna... like we looks like we might have lost it, but it, it might keep going. Oh, uh, the little bubbles are taking over. I think we've reached the zenith, if you will, <laughs> of <laughs> how big this bubble is going to get. You know what I, you need to do? You just pop this bubble need, right now. Just, just knock that out. I need to try to pick it up first, though. So. Oh, you gonna do that? Oh, oh good show. Mr. Nissen, what do you think about that bubble? I, I think the bubble was amazing. I really do. I, this, this stuff is really, really cool. That is cool. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think we learned something here, though, and I think the people out there in uh, TV land can probably identify with is sometimes things aren't gonna work the first time, second time, third time. And so we had to continue to modify our formula, the amount of dry ice we put in there, the amount of water we used in order to get soap. the big bubble, yeah. the amount of soap, the amount of glycerin. And so we tried many different things in order to get the bubble that we were kind of looking for initially. And so uh, that's what science is about, right? You don't just stop when, you're getting, when you have a failure. You continue to push forward and you continue to try and, and do more. That's right. 
Absolutely. So if you guys want to try something like this at home, you've got to have parental supervision because dry ice is something that you really need to have a parent to buy and you want to want to have somebody with you during this uh, process. But I'm going to tell you what, it is a lot of fun. And uh, I just want to, uh, <laughs> I just want to thank you for, for joining us today for another Scientific Minds Unite. Thank you, Mr. Nissen, for stopping by today. It's a Absolutely. lot of fun. It was. Thank All you. Right. I don't know that I'm ever going to get to sleep. Just, I can't get out of my mind that recording today and how I just I didn't talk about freezing point or melting point. I didn't talk about sublimation, the transition from a solid directly to a gas. I didn't talk about atoms. I didn't talk about the carbon atoms. I didn't talk about the oxygen atoms. I didn't talk about how just one little atom difference, one oxygen atom versus two, is the difference between a poisonous gas, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. What kind of science teacher am I? Man, I was just thinking about the the time we were in the science lab yesterday, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. I mean, man, that was pretty cool. I mean, bubbles, right? Bubbles. Now, you might be thinking, man, that's not really too scientific, too highly scientific anyway. I mean, really? Bubbles, that's all you got? But think about the dry ice. Think about a substance being over 100 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. That's cold. I mean, frozen carbon dioxide. It changes directly from a solid and goes to a gas. Directly. No melting. No liquid. Sublimation. Science is cool. <laughs> Thank you.